So what about the crime and chaos in Baltimore? Any ideas how to stop it? Chris Kafalas, a former lawyer with the Justice Department who wants to run for the United States Senate from Maryland in the Republican Party, says he has an idea. Chris joins us. Nice to see you, sir. Greta, thanks for being on. I mean, what we just saw, you know, citizens in Baltimore City can't see the American dream because they're stuck in a nightmare. It requires a fix, and we need a new direction. And so how do you do that? I mean, because, you know, we've seen the, the fires, we've seen the cars lit on fire, the CVS raided, we've seen, you know, a lot of dissension there. Well, for 30 years, we've seen a lot of those problems. They're nothing new. People in Baltimore City have lived under basically a war zone. You know, I have experience at the Justice Department working to expand the circle of equality and opportunity, fighting for criminal justice reforms, working for Governor Bob Ehrlich, and that's why we're getting off the sidelines and taking a serious look at a U.S. Senate race. You know, it's sort of interesting. I sent uh, Griff and Ted out there because I said, what do, the, do the people want more police? Or are they resentful? And, and, you know, that we didn't just sort of cherry pick the ones out that said things nice about the police. That's what they learned. Well, you know, no question people want to see more law enforcement, but they also want to see a broken system fix. You know, we've seen 50 percent less arrests from last year at this point in time, you know, with the spike of homicides, 42 homicides in this just last month alone, 100 homicides in this past year. We've got to restore integrity in our justice department, in, in our justice system in Baltimore City, and we've got to make things better for everyone, more jobs, more economic opportunity. I think the pastor was right. You know, we need to provide an opportunity, a different path for kids in Baltimore City. All right, you, uh, you are intending or thinking about running uh, for the Senate from the Republican Party in Maryland, um, very democratic state. You are openly gay. Um, is the Republican Party have a bigger tent on those issues now? Well, I, I think we're in a good position to run a different type of Republican campaign in Maryland and win. People want to see someone who's pro-economic growth, pro-jobs, and moving our country and, and state forward the best way possible. And it doesn't matter who I am. I mean, I'll be the first Greek or the second or, or whatever number of Greek U.S. senator in the United States Senate. We don't currently have one there. It's not about identity politics. It's about what we can do and what difference we can make for the citizens of Baltimore and so, Maryland. And so, but the social issues even, I mean, there's so many social issues that in, in the past have sort of dogged the Republican Party. Um, that's, I mean, it's... And I, I'm seeing more and more you know, that those are being pushed, sort of pushed aside. Is that to, to avoid them for the electorate, or is that because the more the more the tension is now on the economic? I think right now the focus for everyone is how do we create more jobs, more opportunity? How do we solve a situation in Baltimore City? I mean, today you have a prosecutor who's running a politically politically charged investigation. I think you know my former boss, the Attorney General Holder, should ask her to step aside in the interest of fairness and justice to make our state and city safer. I think this is what is required. We need to be talking about the real issues. Is she, I, I could try to figure out about her. I don't know if she's really inexperienced or if she's really political. I couldn't figure out, I mean, I, I can't, I don't know her. Well, I, I think what we're seeing is that the investigation has some problems and we're seeing that that could raise some serious issues for the people of Baltimore City and the state of Maryland. And so we need a different, different path and a different approach there. You know, though, it's like there's some things like the knife. As so far, she's been unwilling, at least those are the reports, to show the defense attorneys whether the knife, you know, show the knife. Because if the knife is an illegal knife, then the arrest is good. If it's a, if it's a legal knife, then the arrest is no good. And so far, maybe the rules don't require us to do it before arraignment. They'll be arraigned in July. But, you know, she doesn't seem, you know, she seems not to want to help this process. Well, she's not releasing the autopsy as well, uh, seeking a protective order to keep that away from um, more of the public to find out exactly how the process should work. I mean, we need more disclosure, not less. We need more trust in our justice system, not less. And it's everything we're not getting right now from the prosecutor. You want to be a U.S. senator? I do. I Why? Think, well, you know, there's an opportunity to make a, a tremendous amount of difference. I've had experience working for Republican Bob Ehrlich working on criminal justice reform. I want to finish the job at the federal level. The war on drugs needs to be dismantled. We're seeing what's happening in our what cities. What do you do about the war on drugs? Well, we have to get rid of mandatory minimum sentences. I think that's a problem. And we have to put the focus on jobs and opportunity. Federal government right now has an opportunity to run comprehensive, uh, pass comprehensive tax reform. We can actually provide new hope and new opportunities. A drug runner in Baltimore City today may make $7,000 a year on a street corner. An average manufacturing job pays 80000 in the state of Maryland. That's the type of path we need to provide. You know, a child, a youth, might be dead by the time they're 26. Mm. Give them a better path. Well, I think we got to admit that the war on poverty, which we were so, you know, the United States so generously wanted to win, is that it, we got to change our strategy because that started 50 years ago and we still haven't won that one. So we need to, we need to figure out a new strategy, whatever. Well, that's right. And we have to fix things. And I think I can as a United States Senator. Well, I hope you come back. I'm looking forward to see uh, how the, it's a big campaign out there right next door in Maryland. Nice to see you, sir. Great. Thanks, Greta.